friends of the Playhouse, Greg Tomlins here. Today we're going to talk about engineering and we're going to do a fun project. Now, first off, you probably are wondering, what is engineering? You probably don't have an engineering class in school, right? You probably take math and science classes and maybe some English. But engineering is when you take math and science and you smash it together with art class and do stuff that's really creative and fun. And it's all centered around solving problems. That's what we're going to do today. So first off, I'm going to put on my engineering hat because we're going to do some engineering today. How do I look? Great. Okay, first off, engineers solve problems. And you're probably wondering, what kind of problems do engineers solve? We can solve any kind of problem we put our mind to. From water projects like the sewers to bridges, airports, construction, computers, cell phones, the internet, the world is full of problems and the engineers get involved in trying to solve them. And the more complex those problems are, the better. We love tough problems. So today we're gonna to focus on a problem we can solve right around our own house. Today's problem is I've got a whole bunch of race cars and I don't know which one is the fastest and I really wanna find out. But my problem is I don't have a track. So I'm gonna build one, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try some different things and see what works. Now. One thing you might be worried about is, what if I try something and it doesn't work? That's what I love about engineering. We get to try something out, and if it doesn't work, we get to try again and make it even better. Are you willing to, are you willing to go with me to solve a new problem and build a racetrack? Great, let's go. Okay, boys and girls. To make our track, we're gonna start with some cardboard. We're gonna make something that kind of looks like this. Okay, to get started, I'm going to take an extra piece of cardboard that I have around the house and I'm just going to cut it to length using some scissors that I have around the house. You'll have to look for some cardboard around your house that you can use. You might want to get some help for this. Once you have your cardboard cut, you want to tape it together and I recommend using a lot of tape. I'm gonna tape it one side like this, one long piece of tape, and one piece of tape for the other side too. Once you're finished, you should have something that looks kind of like this. When you have this, we should give it a quick check. Let's make sure it works for our cars. Works okay for this one. And works okay for this one. I think we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay. Friends, after we make our track, we want to set it up to make it into a ramp and try it out. I'm going to do it here using this silver shelf as, our, as the top of our ramp. And I'm going to connect a ramp to that first shelf. Now, there's a number of ways to do this. You could try tape, but I'm not sure tape will be strong enough. You could also try putting some heavy books on the edge. Okay, I'm kind of holding it in place with this box. Let's try that and see, what, see if that works. Let's try it with car number 11. Hmm, that worked okay, but the ramp fell out from under the box. We might need a heavier box. That's okay. Like I said, we like to try things, and if they don't work, we'll make them better. So let's grab the ramp, stick it back up here on the shelf, put some heavier books in place and see if that works to hold the car while it goes down the ramp. Hmm, that worked pretty well. Let's try it with the other car too. Ooh, that worked too, that worked well. Can we do two cars at once? Let's try two cars at once.
this angle, we're going to get a top-down view of the end of the racetrack to see which one is fastest. Okay, so friends, there you have it. We were able to build a racetrack and race the pink car versus the blue car. And I hope you saw that the pink car won the race. Now, there are a couple other things we could do to make this uh, racetrack even better. You may have seen the cars could easily crash into each other. We could also put a, a line between them, kind of a little wall. We could build that out of cardboard to keep them from smashing into each other. We also could have made the ramp a little bit smoother. You might have noticed in that first video how when the, when the cars got to the very bottom, it kind of bounced off the floor right at the end of the ramp. We could also fix that too. I hope you had a lot of fun and I hope you learned that engineering is all about problem solving. See you next time.